2008, Confluence Films debuted Drift, a documentary that captivated the fly fishing community. Through a series of different segments, that movie explored the world of angling and the places and personalities that for many embodied what the sport of fly fishing is all about. In 2009, riding on the success of Drift and committed to the goals of inspiring audiences, chronicling the sport, and profiling the industry's eclectic brotherhood, the Confluence crew began production on a second film. Once again, these filmmakers traveled the globe in search of unique locations and a diversity of species, searching out the stories and characters that epitomize the spirit and soul of fishing. This new movie is Rise, a collection of individual stories shot around the world. Stories that together truly reflect the attraction that fly fishing has for all of us. The Palillo worm hatch in the Florida Keys is unlike anything else in the world that I've ever seen. It's an, such an amazing thing that so many people are looking forward to this time of the year to come here and look for these worms that it, it creates a, a very special time and every true tarpon fly fisherman's career where they, they want to try to take advantage of witnessing the famous, the awesome Palola worm hatch. You know, we have a lot of folks that come up that are guests up at the lodge that work in offices and, and down lower 48. And uh, they often look back at you and say, you get to do this every day. Yeah, this is my office. You get to go out here and see all the bears and see all the fish and see all the eagles and all the wildlife. And you look around sometimes and just listen to the stream go by, look at the trees. And uh, it's rare that I don't smile on a day. Actually, I don't think there has been one. I really like bonefish. I think they're fascinating. And to see this behavior where they're aggressive and kind of lose themselves in the minnows, for me it's just kind of a, everything adds up to, the sum is more than the parts here. There's something about this place that it's special. We came up with $10,000 a piece, uh, bought a used truck, brought down uh, couple of fly rods, some flies, and uh, big heart and ambition, and uh, ended up with 12 customers that would say, if you guys are doing it and you say it's great, we think it's great too. So that was the start of Patagonia River Guides. After Katrina, coming back down and trying to try and enjoy the fishery, it was pretty scary because a lot of things had happened. Uh, there wasn't a lot down here, and we knew the marsh had taken a big hit. And we were really worried about that. But we caught fish. The fish were there. They were readily to please just as before. What even we found out was the fishing even got better, better than what it was before Katrina. And almost every storm we get, if it doesn't take so much marsh away, it purges this system out and it makes this system such a better fishery. I'm not, I'm not pressed or driven to fish, to every fish that I see. But the sense of, of excitement when I slip into the river to move up into position on a, on a feeding fish, that adrenaline starts coming and you feel, you feel something so familiar and yet so, so forceful. Each encounter is different. There's no two fish that are exactly the same. Yeah.